Today we're going to be talking about the alerts and how you can use the alerts to manage all of the stat safes in your facilities all at one time. Let's look at the portal. So looking at the portal, we'll start with our stat saves. You'll see all of your stat saves. And on the left hand side, you're going to see all of the different features for managing all of your pharmacy's facilities. The alerts feature is down here on the left and we have four different functions that we can look at in the alerts feature. Expiring meds, discrepancies, inventory refills, and acceptance alerts. Let's start by looking at the first one, which is the expiring meds. We now have a quick way to look at all of your cards at once and see all of the medications that are expiring. It'll tell you the item, the date that it expires, and how many you have in the cart. You can choose to look at all of your carts at once, or you can drill down to just one cart and look at one cart at a time. When you're in this feature, you can just quickly mark the item to remove, and now it will communicate with the cart that it is time to remove that item based on your pharmacy or facilities policies on removing items. Again, you can quickly mark them for removal. You can also unmark them for removal. So it's a quick feature to go ahead and mark your items. Now, let's take a look at the discrepancies report. Looking at the discrepancies report, you can see all of your carts at once, or you can also drill down and look at just one cart at a time. So looking at your discrepancies reports, you'll see all of the discrepancies that are currently outstanding in that cart, where something has happened within the cart that the portal thought was a different number. So you'll see on 8-3-2020, August 3rd, nurse one created a discrepancy, the cart expected three, but the nurse counted five whenever they filled it. So these are all discrepancies that are waiting to be cleared in your carts, and you can clear them based on your pharmacy's policies for clearing discrepancies. We also have a tab for inventory refills. And again, you can look at all of your carts at once, or you can drill down to look at just one cart at a time. So looking at the inventory refills tab, from this tab, you can quickly refill items within your cart. So you can click on refill, you can look at the item, you can look at your current quantity, you can look at your conversion rate. It'll automatically fill back to what you had filled before. You can go in and you can change this to a different amount. And it's got a location. I might have a different lot number. I can change and adjust any of these numbers. Um, I can change the manufacturer's expiration or I can change the date that I want this to expire. So I can go in and I say, I want this one to expire on a different date for it to be pulled from the cart. This is our save button. So you hit the save button. And now I have automatically refilled that item and it is ready for me to fill and send to the facility. A new feature that we've added is you can go through and you can fill all of your items within your refill uh, inventory refills alerts page. And then you can go to your pharmacy reports. And under the pharmacy reports, we have a page or a report that is for printing unprinted labels. So you can go down here to the print all unprinted labels report. I can click view on it and it will bring up the report of everything that I just filled. So now with just one, but but one button and one push, I can now print all of the labels that I had just filled for those items. I get quick and easy to fill these items. Once I hit close after printing these, it asks me, would I like to mark them as printed? If I select yes, it will erase all of those items and it will start clear again. If I hit no, it will save all of the items still in this report and it won't clear them. But you can hit yes and clear them. And then tomorrow when you go to refill all of your items, you'll have a clean slate and any items, uh, the labels printed will be only from that day's fills. Going back to the alerts feature. Again, in inventory refills, you can quickly refill these and send them out to your different facilities. One of the last features in here is the acceptance alert features. So acceptance alerts, again, you can look at all carts or you can look at just one cart at a time. And this tells us items that have been sent or filled by the pharmacy, but have not been received in the cart yet. Maybe they are still at the pharmacy, maybe they're at the facility, 
but for some reason they have not been accepted into the cart yet. So you can see the item. You can say, well, I sent this one 11 days ago or I filled it 11 days ago, but it has not been accepted into the cart yet. And then you can check with the facility, you know, find out what happened to it and why it has not been received. Um, you can also go in and you say, you know what, I don't think these schedules ever made it. It's been 104 days and I can cancel this item. It'll ask me if I'm sure I want to cancel it and I hit yes. And it now removes it from that cart's inventory and from their acceptance list if there's a reason I need to cancel something. So again, this is the alerts feature that features all of the things you can do to quickly manage your cards all from one place in the portal. Now, once you go actually into your stat saves and we look at my stat saves, if we look at our cards and we go to inventory, we also have a new feature under the status and you can sort your inventory actually within a cart, like you would look at your inventory and it, uh, it marks them as unaccepted is in yellow needs refill is in red and mark for removal is in blue so especially if you've marked things for removal if you want to go in and replenish them i can now click on this benadryl and i can edit it i can print it i can replenish it or i can cancel the removal steer still here in the inventory screen so i can click on replenish and i can send them a new replenishment of this item that they will have before the item is marked and removed from the cart you can sort by the status feature uh, by different features and always sort by status and it will bring it back to sorting that needs refill unaccepted and marked for removal so you can kind of look at everything that's happening within your cart all in one nice clean feature again this is the acceptance uh, needs refill marked for removal features within your cart that all can be managed from right here within the alerts feature helping you to quickly manage everything you need within your carts again my name is malia I'm with Phoenix LTC Tech Support. If you need any support or any questions, we do offer training on these features and our portal in StatSafe use. Our number is 855-633-2278 and select two for service. Thank you.